All right, everyone. Uh, my name is Chip Aber. Just want to show you an example application I wrote. Um, we use this for a number of years. It's a digital brochure uh, that's JSON controlled, uses CSS3 and jQuery to dynamically build. It's actually a single page app, uh, the way it's constructed and it, it dynamically changes with, as you go through. So conceptually, if you look at my code, each of this, uh, you get your middle of your page here and each item on either side is, is part of the uh, considered a page. Uh, and as you go through, you'll see we scripted out in, in uh, JSON uh, a number of different types of pages or types of content. And then you can control uh, what displays or what doesn't or what the content is here. Um, it's got video and, and links embedded. So um, if you want to include a video, you can. Uh, and the video will not only play, but, but uh, stream via HTML5, but also is, is fully responsive with the CSS3. So we actually use this in, in our job years ago. This is a fake customer, but to uh, communicate online uh, what it is that we had done and what it is that we were going to do next um, in a manner that could be shared holistically, kind of like a magazine, like a digital magazine, so to speak. Um, one of the cool things about it is that it is responsive in nature, right? So this is a look on the Galaxy X9. Um, we did not use Bootstrap for this. I mean, I'm we programmed it in, in CSS3 with that media controls, but it's pretty cool. So under the covers, let me show you what this looks like. Um, at your core, you'll run your index.html. Um, if you look down here, you'll see some very generic uh, components. Uh, what we then do is the you create a, a JSON control file. In our case, you'll probably make this dynamic, but for the case of this example, this is a static control file. And you'll see here, you have a number of different page designs. Um, and each page design has set fields, okay? Um, you list your pages from start to finish with the page design that you want. Uh, include the fields here, uh, and you can see just some examples of, of how this is done. And then you just build out your array. Um, ideally, you do this dynamically with a, a back in JSON DB, but this will show you the, the content itself. When the page loads on our side, uh, a couple things that are kind of cool. Um, the uh, you can see here we're reading the static file. Um, if you want to make it dynamic, point to your endpoint. This was an, an example. This obviously won't work, but you at least know where to replace the code. Uh, and if you scroll down here, you can see uh, the different page designs that we have um, and how we fade in and fade out. And then if you follow the code, you can see how we built it. Uh, and I'll just show you one example down here of you know uh, basically injecting the fields from the JSON into the HTML and returning the entire uh, HTML div block to the page. Uh, crucial to this uh, is the, the use of CSS, right? So you'll see a lot of our clicks um, are, are, are clicked on the CSS regions. Um, and to make this responsive, what we did, uh, like I said, we, we obviously you can use Bootstrap, but we uh, used at media here. Um, because it was, honestly, it wasn't a whole lot that we needed to change to make it responsive. So you can see uh, the different dimensions and how we, we change or alter the CSS to in turn alter the divs uh, for the display on the various devices. Another JS file that I'll just show you real quick is, uh, uh, I call it cookie tester, but this is kind of your log, right? Right now we're in dev mode. Um, so in dev mode, if I, if I go back here, and I inspect the, the page itself. And I go over here to the console. And then I'll do a refresh. All right. You can begin to see um, the different things that, that you can you can log. All right. Um, one of the most important things is it'll begin showing you, uh, you know, page load and log times. And as you build your pages, you can, this is an easy way to uh, correspond back to the JSON if you need to change things. So with that, uh, if you uh, ever need a digital brochure, this was a, a fun action we did. Um, you may want to update the jQuery library, um, but uh, there, you, there you can see how we did it.